Jackson, and welcome to After Midnight, the show that puts the mid in midnight. <laughs> One of our 24-year-old writers wrote that and assured me it's a compliment. <laughs> Let's meet tonight's panelists. <laughs> you know her from her Netflix special, To Catch a <laughs> It's London Hughes! <laughs> I'm London Hughes. This is my second time on After Midnight. <laughs> which means they've officially run out of black female comics to put on this show. <laughs> He's the comedian you know from his massive online following. It's Trevor Wallace. Hello, honor to be here. I'm Trevor Wallace or young Sheldon if he vapes. So, <laughs> one time a girl called me ugly hot and I still don't know what that means. So, <laughs> we'll find out tonight. And you know him from The Wedding Ringer and A Haunted House. It's Afion Crockett. How y'all doing? I I'm so happy to be here on White Wild and Out. <laughs> Tonight, you'll all be playing for this fabric sampler. Oh, my God. Yep, yep, for when you want to imagine your couch just a little bit different. You know me so well. <laughs> Does it you come said... in futon? <laughs> it comes in white parchment and sandstone. That's what's listed. Oh, all right. That's what's listed. Let's start with the stories people are talking about on the internet today. It's time for group chat. <laughs> Panelists, buzz in with your jokes, and if you hear this noise, you get 100 points. <laughs> Sleeping can be difficult. You've got to keep your eyes closed, put your head in your friend's lap, bite down on a stick. Wait, sorry. I'm thinking of a Civil War amputation surgery. <laughs> totally different. Boy, oh, sorry. Turned on. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Sorry, sleep isn't that bad. Though TikTok user Darrell found it unusually hard one night as she was sharing her room with an oddly terrifying guest. <laughs> Honestly, who hasn't had to sleep with a family member's wedding dress looming oh, yeah. over them? Right? Yeah. Like, yeah, all of us have done that. Yeah. I get it. I'm a disappointment, and you found love. Leave me alone. <laughs> this clip is just begging to be adapted into a wedding horror movie. So, panelists, what is it called? London. White Chicks 2, The Haunting of the Karen. <laughs> <laughs> Trevor. My big fat ghoul wedding. There we go. There it but is. But it's not the worst way to get ghosted on your wedding day. So. Hey! Yeah, two, two jokes. I love that. Yeah. Love that. Gotta get him in. <laughs> Avion. Say yes to the dress or get murdered. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Who don't like a little murder and they, and they kind of... <laughs> <laughs> the Wall Street Journal, the <laughs> premier publication for cool, hip teens, posted this hot bit of advice for Gen Z. Time to start texting like a grown-up. The article suggests if you want to be seen as an employable adult, you need to start capitalizing your texts. One millennial said she used to type in lowercase because it gave off kind of a carefree mimosa brunch vibe. <laughs> oh, now, wow. Yeah, it's not great. Now she's a real grown-up who uses capital letters and gives off a kind of high-strung eating crackers over the sink vibe. <laughs> Panelists, we're all adults. What are some things you've grown out of? Uh, breastfeeding. <laughs> and thank yeah, God. I switched to oat milk, so... <laughs> London. Um, I've grown out of dating broke men, you know? <laughs> so, <laughs> took me some time, but I got there. I got so there. Is that, is that a no on me? No. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> hey, Fia. Uh, honestly, I've grown out of trusting my doctor. That's, that's what ChatGPT is for. <laughs> Oh, my God, yes. Just Google it. <laughs> cure is there. Trust me. Wait, did you guys hear? New divorce just dropped. Oh. That's right. Again, according to the premier publication from a cool hip teens, one couple is pioneering the concept of a sleep divorce, which is when you're still married, but you sleep in separate bedrooms. Oh, that is yeah. some white people <laughs> <laughs> It is very white to be like, I want okay. my own room. Oh, my God. Jeffrey. <laughs> I'm feeling really inspired. So, panelists, what are some other types of divorce couples could try? 
If you Dinner divorce. <laughs> we still going on that date, but different restaurants. <laughs> I'll be at Mastro's, you'll be at Denny's. <laughs> Enjoy moons over my hemi. Oh, my God. Great. London. Um, uh, oh, uh, sex divorce, where we're still married, but we get to have sex with other people. Oh. There we go. <laughs> nice. Um, Trevor? Stepdad divorce. Oh, God. That hit home for a lot of people here. Uh, <laughs> Well, you're still married, but you just have a random guy with a receding hairline named Craig take your son to Applebee's. Okay. <laughs> I know. Yeah. You sound like you know a lot about that. Uh, my dad is named Craig, yeah. There it is. Yeah. I feel like there's some daddy issues going on with these guys over here. It's very. Did I'm you just sorry. call me daddy? <laughs> no. Dim the light. Yes, this. indeed. Let's not do this, Trevor. Linda says she like Trevor. clean the hot coffee. Yeah. Listen. It's okay, Cats, but you don't want this friendly guy. <laughs> I will. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I will ruin you on television. I'm game with that. <laughs> <laughs> I've had too good of a life. Ruin me. <laughs> My parents don't even know what divorce is. Ruin me. <laughs> <laughs> Take it from me, pronouncing stuff is hard, and that's like 80% of my job. <laughs> the other 20, smile. <laughs> But sometimes people pronounce things so wrong that it goes viral. If you mix ground turkey, spinach, feta, spread it on a tortilla, roll it up, slice into pinwheels, and air fry it, it is so delicious with tizay tizaykai. Hey! <laughs> Not tizay! <laughs> Not tizay tizaki. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. Yo. Hey, Who is TZ Tazaki? Is that not how you say it? Uh, <laughs> are you serious at iRick Snacks? You can't pronounce t <laughs> <laughs> white sauce? <laughs> <laughs> Panelists in solidarity, what are some foods you can't pronounce? Hey, uh, I went through the drive thru on the way here and I had a well done chess berger. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that was fancy. London. I can pronounce everything correctly because I'm British and you're American <laughs> are saying it wrong. Okay, it's not Renaissance, it's Renaissance. Okay? <laughs> Renaissance, Renaissance. <laughs> Tomato, tomato. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Speak English. <laughs> the real English. The real English. Or old English, as they say in the hood. People are always telling me, Taylor, stick to comedy. Well, you had me at stick. <laughs> the New York Times profiled a growing online community of stick lovers called Stick Nation. The account, at official stick reviews, has quickly garnered popularity among like-minded twig stands for posting reviews like this. What's up, Stick Nation? Gordon here, bringing you a beautiful piece of driftwood. I mean, it's just incredible to find a stick this tall and this great. Overall, I rate this stick 7.8 7 out of 10. It's a... Huh. Yeah. Sounds like he's trying to find okay. a man. It's hard to find one this straight and this tall. <laughs> Sorry, London I was gonna say, is this white people <laughs> atheist? I'm just trying to... This is white. Why are you asking him? Exactly. <laughs> He's a she was asked me. She was she went... <laughs> oh man, do you guys just want to host this show? <laughs> Incredible. All right, let's get a real 10 up here, Jack. Show me a grade A bark pole, please. Oh my God, I mean, that, that's a good looking stick right there. Uh, panelists, you've got to cat call this stick. <laughs> London. Hey. Are you a stick, or are you just happy to see me? Ooh, there it is. Hey, Fion. Hey, girl. I thought I was the only one with the wood in this relationship. Let's go! Oh, yeah. Give him extra! I did, I gave him! Right. Yeah. That was a good one. Every morning. That was a good one. Every morning. Oh, I'm too hot to be on this show. <laughs> Trevor. All right, Ooh. gotta set the vibe. Yeah, yeah, get that. Ru hey, rub your hands together. Rub yes, your hands, Pete. Go, Trevor. Put bark, that bark. cocoa butter on. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Go, Trevor. All right, all right. All right, let me cook. All right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> Damn, shoddy, how about we leaf this park? Can you let me blow your branch out? Oh! Um, is that good? You got that That's one. That's it. Yeah. Got that one off. That'll hit on TikTok. <laughs> 
is in the lead with 1,200 points, <laughs> thanks to London. <laughs> so far in the lead, thanks to London. After midnight, we'll be right back. <laughs> Want more? Follow After Midnight on TikTok. Oh!